Good evening, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. I would like to share with you the differences and relationships between probiotics, prebiotics, and symbiotics. Probiotics and prebiotics have similar health benefits because they both accomplish the goal of increasing the population of healthy bacteria and yeast in your body. Probiotics are living microorganisms, whereas prebiotics are non-living. Over the past few years, the gut and the trillions of bacteria inside it has been getting a ton of attention. However, the idea of using bacteria to improve human health has been around since the early 1900s, but the general public did not fully embrace the concept until recently. Probiotics are live microorganisms, which improve and restore the gut flora. Probiotics populate and colonize the digestive tract with beneficial bacterial colonies. They're found in fermented food products like yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, and kombucha. Many types of probiotics are similar to the bacteria naturally residing in our guts. Probiotics prevent harmful bacteria from overpowering your system and creating issues like inflammation, infection, or gastrointestinal symptoms linked to diarrhea and irritable bowel syndrome. Prebiotics, on the other hand, are entirely different. Unlike probiotics, they're not living organisms. Prebiotics are soluble, fermentable fibers that we are unable to digest in our stomachs. This allows them to progress into our intestines, where they get gobbled up by probiotics and fermented into short-chain fatty acids. It's these fatty acids that provide all the good benefits that keep us healthy. Your body contains billions of bacteria that help you stay healthy. The largest population of bacteria can be found in your intestines. These beneficial bacteria help you digest food, and without them, you cannot obtain vitamin K from your food. If the community of bacteria in your intestines is disrupted, you may experience digestive difficulties and gastrointestinal symptoms. In order to reestablish healthy intestinal bacteria, you can take probiotics or prebiotic supplements. The combination of probiotic and prebiotic therapies is referred to as symbiotics. The strategy of combining a probiotic with its preferred nutrient may allow for probiotics to stay present in your body for longer, according to an article in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Symbiotic therapies are relatively new and are the focus of many studies to determine their efficacy. Therefore, probiotics and prebiotics are both essential to your health. According to research, when it comes to probiotics, naturally occurring sources always trump supplements. Natural sources of probiotics also have a greater variety of bacteria than supplements, which is crucial to gut health. There is strength in number of microbes, but there is also strength in diversity, which creates a more robust bacterial ecosystem. Like probiotics, Prebiotics should be consumed through food, rather than a supplement. Thanks to their high soluble fiber content, Jerusalem artichokes, chicory root, onion, garlic, and beans are all good sources, as are sources of resistant starch, a fiber that gets its name because it resists digestion in the stomach. Resistant starch resides in oats, unripe green bananas, and legumes. Prebiotics serve as food for probiotics, so probiotics need access to prebiotics to work effectively. Research assessing the connection between the two is ongoing, and scientists cannot yet confirm whether taking prebiotics can support probiotic development. As always, thank you so much for watching. Good day and good health.